हरे कृष्णा स्केप्टिक्स आर द मोस्ट डेल्यूटेड बिलीवर्स स्केप्टिक्स ऑफन यूज द वर्ड बिलीवर डेरेसिवली टू रेफर टू पीपल हु बिलीव क्वेश्चनेबल थिंग्स एंड हु डोंट हैव इंटेलिजेंस शार्प इनफ टू डाउट However, those skeptics are proud of their sharp intelligence. Often, their intelligence is not sharp enough to doubt doubt itself. They, after all, believe in doubt, which they think is the means to discern uh, truth from falsity. doubt is the central tool that they use uh, whenever they are confronted with any form of belief but they don't realize that doubting is also a form of belief believing they are believing in their doubts and often doubters end up being among the most deluded believers so because they often don't even realize that they are believing something they will not question whether they are believing the right thing and further they believe something which can never tell them what is right it can only tell them that it is wrong what is wrong so doubt can only tell us what is wrong doubt cannot tell us what is right and and you know, if someone is wearing a spectacles if the person is aware of the lens then the person can evaluate uh, is the lens giving me a accurate picture of reality or is it distorting reality but if one is not even aware of the lens then one can never get a correct picture of reality so skeptics fall in this category where they are not even aware of their belief leulum correcting that evaluating or correcting that belief the bhagavad gita states appropriately in 4.40 that the doubters sentence themselves to perpetual ignorance that they gain happiness neither in this life nor the next ashrat nayam loko stina paro sukham samshayatmana ha the doubters nayam loko not in this life nor sti paro nor in the next life the doubters do not get happiness either in this or the next life sukham samshayatmana ha this is the sad fate of the doubters now and now it is true that when doubters say that oh believers believe in all sorts of questionable things it is sadly true that there are many believer naive believers who who unthinkingly believe in questionable things but that is not the only kind of believers there are many deeply thoughtful people who have come to believe not because of an inability to think but because of the conclusion of their thinking there have been thinkers them scientists like pascal who said that a little of science takes man away from god but much of science brings him back brings man back to god and there have been thinkers like emerson who said all i have seen teaches me to believe the creator for what i have not seen for all i have not seen so it is this kind of belief that is the fruit of mature reflection that the bhagavad gita calls for bhagavad gita concludes by opening itself to intellectual scrutiny asking us to evaluate its evaluate its message and then decide whether to um, then this then make our choice in 18.63 it says vimrishayita dasheshena yathechati tatha kuru vimrishayita vimrishan vimrishan means deep deliberation vimrish asheshena as much as is required and then yathechati tatha kuru then as you desire so you can do so essentially krishna is telling here 
that, that we should deliberate and then decide how to act. So the Gita provides a comprehensive worldview that answers uh, questions about our, our identity, about God's nature, about the world's purpose, about our ultimate destiny and about the best means to fulfill our highest potential. You know, to reject such an intellectually fulfilling belief is the worst self-delusion. Thank you. Hare Krishna.